Hello everybody, this is Blex here bringing you a guide on how to install Python for your Windows machines. We're going to start off first with the python.org website. Now this is the main hub. This is where you go to access all things Python. It's the official release. You can download new, uh, the most updated versions here. You can get documentation here. You can access forums here. And you get, of course get your news and, and stories and those types of things as well. So if you want to do it from the this website alone, which we're not going to do for this particular guide, we're just going to go ahead and click on the download section and we're going to download the latest version, or if you need a legacy version, you're probably not uh, going to need this guide, so you wouldn't be watching anyways. So the distribution we're going to use today is called Anaconda, and what they do is they combine a bunch of different packages as well as development environments for you to work in and put it into one simple and easy to use download an installation package. So once we're here, we're going to navigate to the download section of Anaconda. I already popped it open and did this for the video, but you can scroll down on the main page and click the download now button. And then from here, in the download window, you can go ahead and click the Windows distribution. And for today's video, we're going to be installing Python 3.7, which is the latest version that's out and exists right now. You're going to get this window that pops up. You can ignore it for now, and we're going to show this in folder after it downloads and pop this executable open. Now from here, we're going to follow the prompts. We're going to click Next. We're going to read this license agreement. We're going to agree to it, and then we're going to install this just for us. Now you guys can navigate where you want, but I'm okay with this default location where it puts my Anaconda installation. We're not going to be adding a path variable, we're just going to keep the default settings in the register Anaconda as my default Python. We're going to go ahead and let this install for the time being. Okay, we're back. We're going to now click Next. And we're going to get a prompt to install the Visual Studio Code. Now let's take a quick look at that since we have this prompt here. And it looks like it's a new IDE for Visual Studio or by Visual Studio by Microsoft. And it can support Python with IntelliSense. So I do like IntelliSense. A lot of people seem to dislike Microsoft products, but for the most part, I tend to enjoy working with them. So I'm going to give this a try and install this. You guys can make your own decisions and work with this. I will likely make a guide on this as well. So that's now finished. We're not going to learn about Anaconda Cloud for the time being, but we would like to get a, a get started little splash page. So from here we can test it out. So if we go to our command prompt and type Python, we don't get any results. It's unrecognized. But if we go to the Anaconda command prompt, which you guys will see here, we can do the same exact command. So we can just type Python in the Anaconda prompt and then we've officially accessed our Python installation. So you can see Python 3.7, everything we, uh, our installation has worked. So let's do a hello world type entry, entry in here. Uh, we're gonna do print, open brackets, parentheses, hello world, and then close them all out and then click enter. So that's it for now. Thank you guys for watching. I'll have more videos on how to use Python. We'll get into some of the more in-depth programming. We'll also talk about setting path variables and accessing different files. We're going to cover everything when it comes to Python. So please stay tuned to this channel and hit that subscribe button. Thank you.